Pisces. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 27th of October. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle cards, both of which are listed in the description box below. So starting off, what a way to start off. The Empress, this is you getting busy. This is a card of action, taking action, getting busy on those new ideas and those new projects. The Empress here, look, she's got her apron on, she's painting, she's busy, she's taking action, she's doing something. So very much a week where you need to be taking action steps. The Knight of Teacups comes in with your help. The Knight's a fast moving energy. They all have a motorbike. And this Knight of Teacups says, just go steady. Don't do it all at once. Take it a step at a time. Don't go racing off and doing everything all at once. Just mindful, manageable steps. What do you need to focus on? Conversations and discussions. This is the two of teacups. This is talking things over. This is absolutely lovely energy. It's getting clarity when you communicate with other people and making sure that you clearly understand each other. So clarity in communication. How can you help yourself? We've got the Emperor right next to the Empress. What a power couple. Very strong energy here in your reading. And the Empress says, it's time. The em Empress says, time to get busy, get doing. And the Empress says, stepping up into a leadership role. Get plans made, organise, get things into um, a step-by-step -step plan, which you can carry through. At a moment's notice, the emperor is ready to go because everything is planned in advance. Everything's in its place. Everything's organised. And that's lovely energy that you can embrace this week. Pulling it all together, the seven of pencils says it's time to turn you back on the old ways of doing things. And now it's time to follow your needs and your plans. So very much... Um, a week where you realise what's working, what isn't working so well and being ready to move forward with what works best for you. The outcome is lovely. This is all about balance. This is the two of coins. So you're just reminded when you're making these new plans and getting organised to make sure your work life is in a good balance. How much time you're giving away. Remember to take time for yourself. Make sure your finances are in balance as well. So let's get a little bit more information. The Ten of Wisdom. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. Here you are moving on, taking action, making those positive changes. This card says delays are over. Things could happen quite quickly. And here you are making your move forward. And here's a wonderful opportunity, the one of action. This is the Ace of Wands saying it's time for you to enjoy these exciting new opportunities. Take action and go for it, but do it in a way that is planned and organised. This isn't a snap decision to move forward. This isn't um, a decision that's done quickly without thought. This needs to be done with thought with organisation and with a plan. How can you help yourself? Talk things over, working in groups. This is mentoring, teaching. It's everybody sitting around the table, having a discussion and working out what the best way forward is for everybody. And it can mean doing things differently sometimes, working out new ways of doing things. How can you help yourself? Do what you've always wanted to do. That's the six of emotion. Now, it's also a card of the past. So you might be reminiscing and talking about the past and learning from the past. And you might be remembering the past with love. But it's also a card that says, consider what you always wanted to do. And is this new opportunity 
going to help you do just that. Pulling it all together, the One of Wisdom. This is lovely. Look at these major arcana cards here. This is the Magician card, bringing that little touch of magic, saying it's time for you to shine your light. This card says you have everything you need. You are ready. You can do it. And your final outcome card, how lovely, another major arcana. This is the Sun card, the 19 of Wisdom. This says it's time to enjoy success, happiness and joy and act on those brilliant new ideas. This is lovely. So looking at your week, getting busy, getting organised, making a move forward. But you're going to focus on new ways of doing things. Make the most of this exciting opportunity because it might be something that you've always wanted to do. Taking your decisions carefully and mindfully, keeping balance in the equation and clear conversations, be absolutely clear in your communication with other people. And then here you are stepping up, shining your light in the world and enjoying all the success that goes along with that. So what a fabulous week, Pisces. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.